Deploying razor wire. Hey, what's up everybody? Storky Storm back for another week. Glad you could join me for another Path to Glory episode. Uh, this week is going to be a fairly short one. I know I say that quite a bit and they end up being quite long, but this one will be quite short. Uh, it's just going to be... I'm just going to go my week of Call of Duty World League. Because, um, yeah, I did do a bit of gaming, but I think that's going to be the focus of this video this week. Um, so basically, going on with that, I got into it a bit more, to played a few more games than I already had. I think by the last video, I've only played two or three games, and I've still played a bit five over this week, um, which I know is not heaps, uh, it's just sort of a handful, but when it takes about ten minutes to get into a game, it's actually quite, quite a lot, because um, yeah, uh, probably negative negative experience with the league play this week. It was quite frustrating, because in those five games, basically all five took at least, it felt like I didn't time it, so maybe sometimes my timing can be a bit out, but it did feel like it was eight to 10 minutes in between games to get lobby, so don't really understand why it takes so long to find a game. I figured there would be quite a lot of people playing the World League, so unless there's just not all, with how the ranking system sort of it supposed to pair you up or match you up with players with similar uh, skill level, basically. So unless I'm just that bad, there's no one at my skill level playing. Everyone yeah, figures it's ranked, so it's all better players, and there's no one around my level. So it takes forever for anyone to actually fill a, a game, a lobby. But um, yeah, so that's sort of the first part of taking so long that you, know, you want to have get a few games in per night type thing, but it's generally almost just one per night. If I'm lucky, I'll get two, maybe three if I start playing early enough, but as we know, I'll leave things till quite late. It's usually like 1 a.m. before I actually start looking for a game. Um, but yeah, so that's before I'm even getting into the games, having issues. But then once I get into it, this was, so say I played five games, this was my experience of the five games. I think it was first game was on control, which I already don't have much experience on, so I'm not going to be very good at it. But the very first control match I played, it's teams of five, it's 5v5, like all the other modes, and that 1v5. It was me v the five other opponents because I wasn't really paying attention, so I don't know whether. It was team kills and they got kicked, or whether it was just they got disconnected, or what the hell happened. But it started 5v5, then we won the first round, and then all of a sudden they captured, I wasn't paying that much attention, and they captured the control points quick as anything. I'm like, we had no chance, so it just went that quick. And then I was like, how did that happen? What was my team doing? Check the scoreboard. My name is the only one in my team list. So it was 1v5. Got sorted on that. So that was my first experience of the week. Second was played Hardpoint on Hacienda. I believe it was Hacienda. That went all right. I didn't do great, but I did better. I got probably 14 kills, I think it was. But it was like in the 20s for deaths. But I was sort of getting in gunfights, doing a few plays here and there. Um, I think the footage will be the one that's up this week for the league play game of the day um so second game at hard point hacienda got through it all right and all that and got a bit better then third game was control again this time won the first round and i think we may have lost the second round and then the third round was it the third round yeah it was the third round some dickhead decided to go on team kill which we as we spawned, big explosion, rocket launcher, wipe the squad. Luckily, it's not search and destroy. I'll get into that in a little bit. Um, so we had to respawn, but he got kicked. Someone else got kicked. And then a little bit later on, the third got kicked. So it ended up 2v5. So a bit better than the last time. It wasn't 1v5, but it ended up 2v5. 
were looking good those first two rounds. I don't know why, on the first three rounds, whatever it was. Don't know why the dickhead's gone and done it. But, um, yeah, it's gone and done. Real neat experience. So I was really hating control at this point. And I'll own up that I did have a team kill myself. I'll, I'll own up to it. I did do a team kill. But I'm blaming my part, my teammate because I was in a gunfight. I see a, from a distance, had it. I've pinged him, I've got him going, and my teammate just strafes right into the gun sight. And we all know my trigger finger. Once it's down, it's down. And they were beautiful headshots, but unfortunately it was a teammate. But at least that was in the flow of the game. I I have a very twitchy trigger finger. I often do put a bullet into a teammate here and there. I get a feeling in one game a teammate did team kill me. Melee, I have to go back and watch the replay, because I don't think it was an opponent, because he would have been in the corner just hiding there. But... Um, I get a feeling he team killed me because I did hit him with a bullet, and I I was fine with that. I was like, yep, I earned that. I put too many bullets into you. I need to be more cautious with how I fire. But this idiot in the control was literally a rocket launcher at the start of the round. Um, it's just, I don't understand idiots like that. Like, you're playing ranked, unless I'm the only one that has this issue of waiting like 8 to 10 minutes at the end of a game, why you would want to waste that time... Three, your ranking is only affected by wins and losses. So it's not like you can have a great two, three rounds, have a great KD, do a team kill, get booted, and it helps your ranking or anything in that way. You would just... I am hoping that they're smart enough to have an extra negative penalty for getting booted, but you get negative penalty anyway for losing. So... Hopefully it doubles up for him and it really screws him over. But yeah, so that was frustrating. First two games control ended up just well, wash, basically pointless. I stayed, play, I played the entire game through because I wasn't going to be a bitch and call out and I was hoping to get a bit of practice in and all that. But So I'm already sort of in a bad mood there. Fourth game was hard point, again on Hacienda. And again, I got a little bit of improvement, pulled out some good plays in this, took care of some business. I uh, think I increased the KD, as in a couple more kills, a few less deaths, but I'm not sure. I haven't really gone back and watched the tape too much to confirm that, but it felt like I was doing a lot more. I think I got off to a sorry start, though, but um, I think I picked it up towards the end of it. Uh, so, yeah, I was enjoying Hardpoint. Hardpoint was going all right. It was just that control, those first two games control. Then the fifth game was a search and destroy, and I already don't really like search and destroy just because... Once you die, you're out for the round. I like respawns. Uh, I'm not good enough to really be able to go one-on-one -on -one and all that sort of stuff. But So we start off, and having said that, it was on it was Search and Destroy on Arsenal. I got the first kill. First or second kill of the re first round. So I thought, oh, sweet, I'm on. It was a great little Maddox headshot from sort of mid-range. Um, took care of him. But then we went through, and if you don't know, Search and Destroy, especially in Ranked, it's basically 1st to 6th. So it must be best of 11. Yeah, I think it's the best of 11 rounds, 1st to 6th. Um, so it was actually quite an enjoyable Search and Destroy, considering I don't usually like it. But we got to 4-4, four, four, so round 8. So we got to round 9, and we were doing quite... They were making a bit of a comeback, but we still seemed like we were going to be in control. Usually the attacking team would win the round. Defense wasn't doing too great. No, sorry, vice versa. The defensive team generally won. The attacking team wasn't able to get plants, and we had the advantage of being the first defensive team, so we were always getting that first win. So we should have been taken out, but start of round nine, yet another dickhead. Rocket launcher at the start. Wipes the squad, and then this is actually matters because there's no respawn. I think like one one teammate survived to finish off the round, but he got wiped. Obviously, because it's five v one, so he gets kicked. Another two get kicked, and it ends up buddy five v two yet again. So in two games control, and a game of search and destroy, had people getting disconnected or kicked. Definitely got people booted for uh, team killing, so they ended up just. A waste so that was really not all that enjoyable and with results only mattering from win loss it's just it was a waste of a week for me basically in the league because the hard points I got 
to always, I think we won, we might have won both hard points actually. I think we may be undefeated in hard point. Don't, don't quote me on it, we may have lost one. Can't quite remember, but um, yeah, but generally at least we've got a chance. But if I'm playing five games, just get that back light going again. Um, playing five games and three end up with two or less teammates against five, I've got no chance. So I'll never rank up or improve upon the thing. Or, you know, even practice, I can still play and you know, try and improve, but when you're 1v5 or 2v5, you don't, you just can get swamped anyway. So um, that was really frustrating. So not a good experience in league play this week. Just dickheads doing dickhead things. Hopefully something's done. They get booed, banned or something. But um, I just don't understand why you do that. It used to be in Gears as, as well. Gears of War, the original one. You used to get heaps of people just team killing. I can understand if you're playing with mates and, you know, doing a LAN party or something and you're just, you know, mucking around with them and they, it's not important. Well, not that this is important, but um, there's not a purpose to it. It's just mates being mates type thing. But this is ranked people trying to play properly, you know, trying to be competitive and this just ruins ruins the whole experience for it. Um, so I did this end up finishing the week in the pubs, uh, which I had a good game in... Jungle, jungle team deathmatch. Uh, screw the sniper nest. Sniper nest needs to be banned. I hate that kill streak because in this jungle match, I ended up, I think it was 16 15, and about eight of those deaths were from the goddamn sniper nest trying to shoot it down because, again, as well, no one else ever has a rocket launcher. Because, um, yeah, I started off like 5 0, 6 0, and I think it was about 10-1 or 10-2 maybe, potential, I don't know. But it just felt like I was really on the streak. Whenever I got a gunfight, I won it. It was just that sniper nest kept taking me out, um, stopped me from getting more kills, stopped me from getting kill streaks. Um, all the time I spent trying to use my rocket launcher on it, just wasted time. And so that's why I ended up being a 16-15. If it hadn't been for that goddamn sniper nest, it could have been much better. It could have been even a better game than my 17-10 the other week. But, uh, well, that's the way it goes. But at least it wasn't team killing. At least it wasn't wasting time and control or search and destroy. And, yeah, it was just, it was good to see us. I am still improving in that public matches at least. So, as I said, I'll keep it at that. Just going to focus on the Call of Duty this week. Um, yeah, I'll play a few other stuff, but, yeah, I'm just going to leave it at that. So, thank you for tuning in for this week, yet another week. I will be back, as always, next Sunday um, for another episode. So, yeah, cheers for tuning in. Stalky Storm out. See ya.